Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim, and today I want to talk to you about two more of our specialty parts packs that we made for the Tetrix Max building system. So they are kind of go together, they complement each other, so that's why we're kind of talking about them together, and that is our Tetrix Max wheel pack and our hub and axle pack. So I'm going to start with our Max Tetrix Max wheel pack, and I've got an example of what comes in that pack before me. Let me start by saying that you get 38 total pieces. So this is just an example of some of the things that come with you, but they, you do get two sizes of our regular wheel, our regular Tetrix Max wheel uh, in a four inch and a three inch size. You get uh, two examples of our Omni wheel, again in the two sizes, four inch and our three inch. And last but not least, you get uh, a set or two of our all-terrain tires. And then you get the uh, pieces that actually help you mount those. You get a set of axle hubs, you get um, the set collars, the actual bronze bushings, and then the 100, a pack of the 100 millimeter axles to go with all this. Um, so that gives you a good assortment of the type of elements that you would potentially need in order to give you a variety of the different types of wheels that you might use on your robot. And again, 38 total elements. I want to do point out that you get with the L-Train tires, you get a set of um, different hub mounts that are specific to the hubs. That So if you wanted to put them on the axle or directly on the motors, you can do that. Um, these particular wheels also, they're not pneumatic. I want to make sure everybody understands that, but they do have foam inserts, so they do have a little bit of squish to them um, that depending on the type of terrain that your robot uh, is um, needs to travel. These might actually uh, provide a little better traction if it's a soft surface like sand or something like that uh, with a very aggressive tread. Um, and again, be aware that if you've got an extra heavy robot, they're going to get a little bit of, of cush or squish to those uh, depending on the weight. Um, we do have the Omni wheels, again, that uh, really come into their own when you need to rotate not only in uh, one direction but be able to actually slide in either direction as well. Those are very useful. And then uh, old tried and true, our, our basic um, standard uh, Tetrix wheel, that is really good for uh, a surface that is uh, very soft and tacky like a, a solid surface. Again, the idea with these type of wheels is that you have more contact surface actually on a hard surface than you would with something like this. So they become very useful in those type of situations. So that is our wheel pack. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a just a brief pause. I'm gonna set up for the actual hub and axle pack. Okay, we talked about the wheel pack, the Tetrix Max wheel pack. Now I wanna talk about a little bit about the hub and axle pack. So again, I've laid out some examples of what comes in that particular pack. Keep in mind that you're gonna get 109 pieces, not just what you see here, but 109 pieces that make up this pack. Um, there are four different lengths of D-shaped axles in two different diameters. I have the 4.7 millimeter, 100 millimeter length, the 200 millimeter, 250 millimeter length, I'm sorry. And then in the six millimeter diameter, we have two different lengths, 80 and 40. I also have six millimeter, uh, what could be used as axle hubs, the 4.7 millimeter axle hubs, 4.7 millimeter set collars. That's tough to say if you have to say it very often. And then I've got bushings in various sizes in the 4.7, the six millimeter, and then the 4.7 in a little bit longer style. So bronze bushings. And last but not least, I wanna make sure I point out that we've got couplers for the two different sizes. 4.7, so I could actually take a uh, 4.7 axle and I could add two of those together just like this and make a longer one if I needed to. Um, or I've got in the um, coupler that would actually, I'm gonna pick this one up because I have the set screws backed off, will actually allow you to connect two different sizes. So I could put a 4.7 on that end and then I could put a six on this end. So. Again, I can extend or combine the different diameters of axles with my couplers, so those are very important and handy to use. So that kind of gives you a breakdown of what comes in. 
Oh, I forgot the uh, spacers. We also have nylon spacers that are part of that uh, assortment. Everything you really kind of need to actually attach the wheels. So you can kind of see how they complement. The other pack has wheels. This one have, has all the axles, bushings, and connectors to attach those wheels. So like we always do, after we kind of show you uh, some of the individual pieces, I want to show a little bit on a robot so that you kind of see how they could potentially work together. I'm going to start with this one. Uh, now this particular robot, actually, you can see what I wanted to point out. We've got four inch wheels uh, directly onto our motors, which uh, can be attached that way. And I want to point out specifically the, the Omni wheels because you'll see that actually you get a package of Omni wheels in the assortment, but you don't always have to use those directly together as the assembly. I've got these actually separated a little bit, but they function exactly like uh, the assembly would uh, because I've got them mounted on the D-shaped axle so that they're rotating together. So that's an example of Omni wheels in the four inch. I also want to point out that sometimes you don't always have to use a wheel as just a wheel. Um, they can actually become other functional types of elements. For, uh, for instance, if I wanted to use a base, I could set it like that and it becomes a very sturdy base. Or if I wanted to use an element where I could maybe collect um, some other game pieces, we could use it simply like that. So you don't always have to use a wheel just as a wheel. So hope you kind of remember that. Um, again, like we always say, I hope this was informational for you. I hope it gave you some inspiration inspiration on some things you can do with your robot builds. So remember, build some robots, have fun, and come back and see us.